Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the brand new flow called Sales Navigator Search to Emails. With this new flow, you'll be able to find the professional email addresses of LinkedIn profiles directly from a Sales Navigator Search. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this flow, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com. Next, I'm gonna click on Browse Phantoms. Then I'm gonna to go to the left-hand margin and click on Sales Navigator. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Sales Navigator Search to Emails. If I click on this title, I'll be sent to the Flow Overview page where I'll get a full breakdown of this flow and why it's important for your marketing activities. If I click on the Tutorial tab, I'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown of exactly how to set up this flow. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Use This Flow. So you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So as long as you're logged into LinkedIn, all you need to do is click on Connect to LinkedIn, then click Save. Now here is where we tell the flow which searches we wanna scrape from Sales Navigator. So you have a number of options here. You can choose a single Sales Navigator people search, or you can use a Google Sheet or CSV file with a list of Sales Navigator people search URLs. Just make sure that the Google Sheet or CSV file are publicly available. I've already set up a Sales Navigator search for copy chiefs and I put in a few filters and I've gotten 703 results. So I'm gonna go to the top URL, select all, right click and choose copy. And then I'm gonna head back to my phantom and in the input section, I'm gonna go ahead and paste. There's also some advanced settings where you can choose the number of results to scrape per search now keep in mind, Sales Navigator only displays the first 2,500 results of a search. So to get more, after the search query and use multiple search URLs in a spreadsheet. You can also change the number of email discovery credits to use per day. And you can also use your second Sales Navigator team instead of your first. And then if you have multiple columns in your, in your spreadsheet, you can tell the flow which column contains the Sales Navigator people search URLs. Under the results file settings, you can choose to keep certain columns in your results file. But everything looks good for now, so I'm gonna close these and go ahead and click on save. Now here's where you choose your email discovery service. You have a number of options like dropcontact.io and hunter.io, but keep in mind your Phantom Buster account also has a number of email credits given to you every month. So uh, in the drop-down section, you can choose your email discovery tool. I'm gonna go ahead and stay with Phantom Buster and go ahead and click save. And then I have a number of notification settings. I can choose none in case of an error, in case of success, or other advanced notification options. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as none. And under the advanced settings, you can change things like proxies, and you can also set up other folder management settings. But for now, everything looks good here, so I'm gonna close this and click on save. Now, this will take me to the Sales Navigator Search to Emails Flow Overview page. And this is where I'll be able to launch my flow and start getting Sales Navigator search emails. So all I need to do to activate this flow is go up to the top and click Enable Flow. And depending on how many emails you're scraping, this may take some time. All right, so now that our flow has been running for a few hours, let's look at the results. So, so far I've pulled all 703 leads and I've found 13 emails. If I scroll down, I'll be on the results tab and I can see all of the leads that I've pulled from that Sales Navigator search. If I wanna see all the emails that I've scraped so far, I can just click and sort by emails and I'll go ahead and do that twice by clicking on uh, emails twice. And then I'll be able to filter by all of the contacts that I've found an email for. If I wanna download all of this data, all I need to do is click on download results and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. If I click on more in the dropdown area, I'll see the result.csv file directly, and I can either copy that link or download it from this page, or I can download the result.json file. I can also download all of the files from this flow. 
Finally, on the activity tab, I'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown of all of the activity that this flow has done for me. And I recommend you just keep this flow enabled and running in the background so every day you're pulling more leads into your funnel. All right, so that was how to set up the Sales Navigator Search to Emails flow. To get started using this brand new flow, be sure to go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.